Ladies and gentlemen, I, I'd like for you to take a look at this young man. Look into his eyes. Are those, are those the eyes of a murderer? Look, look very closely, please. A very lonely woman whose only happiness in life was her son. A son who attended to her every need. A son who spared her the drudgeries of everyday life. Who... Marcus Conti, how are you, man? Good afternoon. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Wherever you are. Good morning. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Wherever you are. So Jenny Moore, I want to do a uh, summation, an opinion. The opinionist will give his opinion. The masterful opinionist will give his opinion on the Jenny Moore, Jenny Moore murder mystery or accidental overdose or natural causes. Let's see. So. So is Jenny Moore, Jenny Moore dead? There's a lot of people uh, chirping in now on this, and it's, uh, that's a good thing. People chirp in, and then people chirp in on the comments, and we kind of come together. That's, that's a crowd, right? That's, that's what the shit is. I know everybody likes to fight amongst each other. <laughs> Fucking cats and dogs fighting amongst each other. But in the, in the final analysis, uh, this is, this is uh, good, because this is all we have right now. Mainstream media is not going to... They're going to... They'd rather see us kill each other and die right you know and, and so that they could take market share but we're going to keep going so is jenny Moore dead right i i i think so i've watched uh i think uh true pundit uh michael moore <laughs> michael moore thomas Paine, michael moore had initially reported uh, we had no reason really to believe that uh that there was a body um as they said right and uh but but in, in this day and age who believes the police right because nobody actually saw that body right so you're like in, I'll, I'll give you an example like in my in my where i come from right staten island right fucking brooklyn right when a mobster gets whacked right when they whack a mobster or someone someone gets whacked or, or somebody somebody's mother with, with eight million dollars in the bank dies nobody takes that shit nobody believes anything until they see the body right and they go to the wake, you know, and they kiss the body. You see the gangsters, they, all, they, they pick up the hand and kiss the ring. Not, they don't give a shit about the body. They want to make sure that the fucking guy is dead, right? They go there and they, they want to see the dead body, right? Right? That's what it is, right? That's what the wake is all about. And then you put the body in the ground and fucking deal with the police down the block about the to toxicology. But we don't have that in this case. All we have is body leaving a hotel room. With, surrounded by police. Uh, I'm Lieutenant Colombo. I'm from the police. Yes. From homicide. Yes. Is there some place private that we could go? Uh, D.C. police. Uh, that's what we have. That's all we have. My conclusion, I think that, uh, you know, True Pundit did a good job. Uh, George Webb has has done some pushing into that i think jason's jason goodman's um call to the police before he went off on a, a psych, psychotic tangent trying to blame somebody uh is good evidence he it sounds authentic that he actually he did get in touch i'm too lazy i'm not gonna pick up the phone but guys like jason will do it so he picked up the phone and uh he called he called in um well, slit, uh, Nathan, the lift the veil has been, I, I, Nathan's brain is, he's got a good brain. He's, he's, I, I don't think he gets out of the chair much either, but he's, uh, his, in, in his view, a murder occurred, right? So we, we have to say, we gotta, we gotta say, is there a murder? Uh, not a murder. I'm sorry. Is there a body, right? And at this junction, I think it's safe to say I think this, it's safe to say that there is a body, that someone was killed, right? And I'll, I'll say why. I'll talk more about that in a second. But So if there is a body, why does it matter, right? Why is Jenny Moore? Why is, well, before we go down that rabbit hole of, of, of uh, fantasy and, and, and the story starts to mutate into a power grab, right? Why is the Jenny Moore story important? Because it's Bill Clinton, 
And I, th the story is built, when I heard it, I, it floored me. I was like, what? What? And immediately, immediately I said, that was a hit and they're going to find fentanyl in the, in the autopsy. That's what I said. That was my first impression when I heard the story, right? So it's a story of, it's a story of a, of a, a woman who, who was a cop in San Jose, California, and she saw corruption and, and, and she had, she was abused as a child, as the story goes, right? And, and she, she, she wanted to make her, she became a, a child activist or a child welfare kind of crusading for, for children, right? And, um, and then, and then, you know, so she goes and then she, she takes her, she, she, she blows a whistle and she gives her information to some politicians and she makes her way to DC and, and she's on a quest, right? She's on a, on a power a quest to conquer the, the fucks that are, you know, raping children and trafficking children across the globe. Is it, you know, it's a noble, noble cause. Damn right. It's a noble cause. So that's what we're talking about. And then what you do, what she did in that travel is stumble on a story of Bill Clinton raping a boy. Now, is there, there's a witness, right? The actual boy is apparently, apparently Jenny Moore was in conversations with the actual boy that was raped by Bill Clinton, right? Have we really f heard the testimony of the kid that was raped by Bill Clinton? No. We have not heard that. We have. We don't even know his name. We don't know anything about him, and that should be the deep dive right now. Find out who he is. Find out who he is. He's. He's. He. You know. He may have inadvertently caused the death of a reporter. Right. So let's find out. I mean, we don't know who he is, and so the ramification of the story is. Now, is this fantasy that Bill Clinton would kill somebody? <laughs> uh, the the body count is. You know, it, it's not a theory anymore. Now it's it's like anybody who gets close to the Clintons, I'm not going to go deep into this, but anybody who gets close to the Clintons mysteriously dies. You know, like 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 the the uh, what was that guy? Vince Foster. You remember back all the way back to the early '90s, where Vince Foster was a was a uh, co Confederate within the Clinton you know operation, and he apparently had dirt on Hillary Clinton, or he was outspoken and. And they they, uh, they 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 knocked him they knocked him off right and under mysterious uh, circumstances or the people that have like that guy in, in New York where he, he was going to the by the UN he was going to to testify against the you know the FBI against uh, the Clinton Foundation and then he was he's lifting weights in the morning and the fucking dumbbell falls on his on his neck and kills him that kind of stuff happens all the time and the other thing is. Can an ex-president, are we going to tarnish the, the good name of an ex-president in the United States without, in, without a smoking gun, right? Without a smoking gun. No, we're not going to do it, right? Obama could, you know, do, you know any, any ex-president can go all the way out there and, and, uh, and there wouldn't be any charge. So, so, so that's the story, right? That's the story, right? And the next thing we have to look at is the cause of death. Jenny Moore, right? Because are they connected, right? Is it the cause of death, right? Um, you know, did I, I wanted to? Add, I, I watched I, th that interview with George. It, it was ninety-five degrees. I, I, I'm not an interviewer. It's not my fucking. That's not my lane. But I, we did find out some stuff. You know, George is an elusive character. He's a you know my mysterious mystery man in his mind, right? So to, to, to get the facts without him turning it into a, a you know three ring circus is, is rather difficult, right? So <laughs> combined with ninety degrees and combined that I'm not a fucking interviewer, right? Is but we did find out that there were titanium rods. He confirmed all that in her back. Uh, he he says up and down that that he had no sexual relationship with this woman. I did not have sex with that woman. I did not have sex with that woman. Right? Uh, you, you were a good friend of ours. Well, will you, you please sir? get to the point? I mean, a close friend. We lived together. Yeah. Uh huh. What's, What's wrong? What happened? 
What is it? What's wrong? Are you a friend of Mr. Crichton's, ma'am? Yes, I'm his associate. Trish, Marcy, Marcy's been murdered. Oh, my God, Hugh. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sir, I know that this is a bad time, but uh, I'm going to have to ask you to come and identify the body. What else did we learn? You know, the question I wanted to ask him, and I'll ask you now, George, did, did uh, Jenny Moore ever have a drug problem? Right? Did you ever see her, you know, and I'm not talking about drinking. I'm talking about, like, did, she, did you ever see her, oh, I got to go take my pill? Or, you know, a little sniff or something and you didn't know what it was, right? Because when that autopsy comes back and it's, it's a concoction of three chemicals, fentanyl being the number one, that's a fucking hit. Right? It's a hit. Right? We saw the guy, the server down in Florida, the guy who served the DNC lawsuit. I can't remember his name right now. It's still 90 degrees in New York. Um, and the same thing. He came back. Toxicology came back and, and, and he, uh, it was, he, you know, there was, they, 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 they dropped it. They dropped the, the accusation that there was a, 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 a killing. And it was, how does three chemicals accidentally end up in somebody's body and kill them? So toxicology. So, so or natural causes. Was she ill? Was she someone that you ever saw? This, where's the medical report? Did she ever go to the doctor? Did you ever see her go to the doctor? Ah, I don't feel good. I got to go to the doctor, right? That kind of shit, right? Mo, mo, murder versus natural causes. I, I don't know. Right at this point, you can't, you can't tell until you see the autopsy, right? We never saw a body. Right? So motive. Talk about motive. Excuse me. Motive. So Michael Moore, true pundit. True pundit. Good job. We saw true pundit. We saw uh, Michael Moore's face yesterday on uh, Crowdsource the Truth. Michael Moore sitting on the bench in Philly. Ah, fucking bench. He's out. He feels good. He's like he's like a he's like a gay man coming out. He's like oh, I feel so proud. I fucking feel so good. Look, I'm gonna. <laughs> he's like coming out of the closet fucking Michael Moore but Jenny Moore what? What? what what the same name they got the same name Jenny Moore Michael Moore they were doing business together they were they were they, Jenny Moore was was Michael Moore's source of a of of broadcasting he had Thomas Paine's you know uh, audience at his at her disposal Right? Are they related? Are they? I don't know. The picture. Hold the two pictures together. Uh, Jenny Moore and and Michael Moore, and see if they look look the same. I mean, Thomas, I'm not I'm not saying you're the fucking killer. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying that there's something to that, right? I mean, there's something to that. The same names? Is it just coincidence? I, I don't know. But but motive. What is motive? What is motive? George Webb. Motive. Motive. Ruling out. Are we? I don't know. So there's a love triangle, right? There's a little fucking love triangle, right? Does jealousy drive people to kill? <laughs> Hell yeah. Does does greed drive people to kill to power grab? Jealousy? I'm jealous. I mean, I, just my my ten minutes in D.C. and and I I began to feel that 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 uh that vibe, right? I mean, with these guys, with these characters. Cast the characters, uh, Nathan? Yeah, cast the characters. Right? So is that is that enough? Would some, would, would one partner kill the other partner to gain control of the business? And, and go one step further and they were, they were doing a little of this on the side, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Motive. There's, there's motive, right? See, there's, there's two types of evidence, right? There's, there's, there's evidence of, there's, there's uh, direct evidence, which is direct, direct evidence is evidence of the smoking gun and an eyewitness. The eyewitness saw the person take the gun out and shoot the guy next to him, right? Caught on video. You have the, the, you have the video. You have the gun. You have the eyewitness. You've got every, you've got the dead body. You've got everything. That's direct evidence. But what we're talking about here is circumstantial evidence. Right? There's two types. There's direct evidence and circumstantial evidence. Now, circumstantial evidence is also evidence. But it just has to be compounded a little more. So if you have one piece of direct evidence, right, 
that's good. You don't need much more than that to try somebody. But with indirect evidence, it has to pile up, right? You know, police report. A, a, then you start to go into the details where George takes you down the rabbit hole and you, where were you and who'd, who'd you do, who'd you see and what, what did you do, what'd you eat. All that shit happens after we can figure out a motive, right? A motive. And then you start to sew together the circumstantial evidence, George. Uh, so, so the other one is, okay, so, so there's some, some kind of business between, you know, Michael Moore and Jenny Moore and, and some kind of breaking story. There's a potential love triangle in D.C., a, a power grab of, you know, you know, kind of up and rising stars that are competing for market share and, you know, uh, all that stuff. But the real one is political hit. Political hit, right? A political hit where Jenny Moore has a juicy story. Real, I mean, fucking juicy. Talk about juicy. Framing the, a former president of the United States. Not framing, that's not the right word, but but confirming that the president of the United States, a former president of the United States, Bill Clinton, who is who has a history of sexual predatorism, right? <laughs> Monica Lewinsky and all the other ones, right? Uh, is in fact a rapist, raped a boy. That makes him a homosexual too, right? <laughs> he's a lot of things, right? No, he's a fucking rapist and a homosexual. Right? So where's the boy? Where's the boy? Good boy, come forward, come forward. Go talk to. Go give your story. Do it. Do it with with Jason and True Pundit sitting on the bench, right? Sit right between them, catch it on video, and 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 that's that's our direct evidence, right? And you're safe, you know. In 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 the when you watch the wild, right? You see the wild. When you watch fucking wild animals, right? You see, like you see the, the the lamb, the lamb, the gazelles jumping, right? And they all, and they they stick close together because the lions are right around the edge, right? The fucking lions. They wait to pick off that 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 one little lamb that drifts off to the side, and then the you know, and the the, the cats are like meow meow, like they're friendly, right? They act friendly, right? But when that one little lamb slips out to the outside of the herd, right? Cats go in for dinner, right? power, <laughs> and they have their dinner, right? All right, so. So what I'm saying to the boy is stick in the in, stay in the middle of the herd. That's where you're safe, right? Exposure. That's why I commend Thomas Paine for coming out. I don't know if he did it on, he, he would have done it on his own. <laughs> Sometimes we're forced into it, but he did it, right? So now you're out in the open. It's, it's safer out in the open. So boy, come forward. Man. Let's hear this fucking boy, right? This fucking boy. Is there a boy? Is there a boy? That's the other story. Is there a boy that got raped by, Don, by, by Bill Clinton? So, so where do the answers lie? Where do we go now? Where, where do we, where, we, have, we have three hypothetical motives from three different, you know, kind of angles, right? There's a lot of, there, there is motive to kill somebody who, you know, was going to expose the president. The other thing about, you know, so let's talk about, could, I wrote something down, I want to read it down. Right. So the, the, the answers are, did Bill Clinton actually do what he what we say he did? Right. Did he did he actually do it? I think I just covered that. I wrote it out of, out of sequence. I'm getting mixed up. All right. That's the first one. Did Bill Clinton actually do it? Right. And the, the, the final one is, is the autopsy, right? the autopsy, the actual because we don't have a body. We ne nobody saw the body get dragged out. The, No, there's no crime scene where there's a body and everybody's looking at the body on the ground and, they, and the body sits there for two hours, three hours while the cops walk around picking up bullets and all that shit, right? There's none of that, right? All there is is the testimony of the police. Again, that's all we have, right? So if there is a body, which, as I said, I'm not going to go back on that. Let's move forward as if there is a body. 
and that this isn't a a George Webb school play, right? Where he takes the actor out of the play, right? If it's not that, then there is a body, and that we need to see the autopsy, right? The autopsy, the actual forensic breakdown of Jenny Moore, right? So toxicology, right? If there's no signs of immediate signs of a crime, a murder, right? Because they've redefined. I mean, I I believe the deep state has has a has a whole floor devoted towards the art of killing people. Right? Why wouldn't you? It's very easy to kill somebody. It's it's hard to make the story go away or even the body go away. Right? That's the hard part. Right? But I think also that you know most political hits they know exactly where you are at a given time right and to make her disappear wouldn't have been impossible either why did they choose to 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 to, to knock her off in a hotel room right? right i i don't i just don't believe that i don't believe it's i i just don't believe in natural cause i don't think anything, i don't think there's anything natural natural about this it just the timing the, the it just reeks of a murder right? it reeks of a murder right? so we need to see that autopsy right we need to see the toxicology we need to see if jenny moore had a had a drug history you know any people that know about that that that, that are in the community over there that may have detected a drug problem or a history or something like that you know, speak up. There's no it's fuck anonymity, right? You got to talk. You got to. This there's a potential because um, if they get away with murder, they're going to continue to get away with murder, right? So, so anyway, toxicology, and uh, you know, we we need to we need to rule out a hit. We need to rule out a hit. I ho hope that was helpful. I wanted to sum that up a little bit. We'll, we'll keep going with this. We'll keep going with this. Right? My name is Marcus Conti, opinionist. Peace. Lieutenant, I want to see the uh, autopsy report. Oh, sir, you don't want to see an autopsy report on a loved one. That's precisely why I want to see it. I understand, sir, but it's not no something... No buts. I want to see that report. I'm sorry, sir, but it's regulation.